Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing the Clean Girl makeup look, which I'm sure you guys have seen going all around TikTok and YouTube, and I wanted to recreate it because I love makeup like this. It's just very fresh face, glowy skin, you know, my kind of vibes. And this kind of makeup is really universally flattering on everybody, and I wanted to recreate it using some current favorites and products that I think are ideal for achieving this look. I also wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is e.l.f. Cosmetics. The love that I have for e.l.f. is so real, you guys already know that though but I really do love this brand so much I mean not only for their affordable prices but amazing quality they're vegan cruelty free and I also really love the brand's mission so elf is really meant to be that brand that is for every eye every lip every face because elf equals eyes lips face so it really is a brand to me where I feel like everybody and anybody can find a product to work for them they have so much to choose from makeup skincare makeup tools so it is always a pleasure to work with elf and I'm excited to share with you guys one product today that is like perfect to achieve this clean girl makeup so I hope you guys enjoy make sure you grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it okay so I am starting off with my brows of course and you guys know I am very loyal to my brow routine and how I do my brows but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit because I feel like with this look it's all about like fluffy brows which I typically don't do but I've been trying out something a little bit different and I'm not totally hating it I'm not saying this is gonna be like my new go-to brow routine but I think for this look it works I'm gonna start off with outlining and and filling in my brows a little bit and I'm gonna use the Oma Beauty 2-in-1 brow styler so with this I'm gonna just start by outlining so I can get that like initial shape that I am looking for and as I'm doing this I am doing really light strokes and I'm being actually pretty light-handed compared to like how I normally do my brows just because again we're going for like that kind of fluffy ish brow look I feel like my brows are not made to be like for fluffy brows you know but we're gonna make it work and kind of just like, I'm gonna make it my own basically. So I'm doing really light strokes to like outline and then like fill in the brows as well. And then as I do that, I'm gonna go in with my spoolie and just spoolie through. I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer, again, just to clean this up. So that is it. I kind of like cleaned up the bottom just a little bit. I normally clean up the top as well, but for today I'm just gonna do a little bit of carving out on the bottom. So I normally clean up the top of the brows, but for today I just did a little bit of concealer right on the bottom and I used the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm gonna start off with an eye primer. This one is the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. And the reason I like this so much is because it just evens out your lids and gives you a really nice color i'm gonna use a little bit of eyeshadow today but it's very subtle but i want to just have a nice even base i love the formula of this so i'm just gonna use my finger just to blend this in just evens everything out and it adds like the prettiest tint to your lids you see like i don't know i just i love it something about this color and formula i love you could use concealer as well but sometimes i feel like concealer can be a little bit too harsh and i just want something to look even but still natural today for the eyes and for the face i'm actually going to be using this palette but this is the natasha denona glam face palette if you guys have been watching my videos you know that i am obsessed with this palette it's so good it's so pricey but it's like just ideal for everyday makeup or if you don't really want to have a ton of different products you have your eyeshadows you have your blush and you have your highlighter in here so i'm just going to take these two shades right here and just apply them in the crease and all over the lid honestly you could use any eyeshadow you could use bronzer you could use blush in the crease i'm just using this palette today because i'm going to use it for my face as well but any eyeshadow any type of color like this will work so I'm just gonna run that in there it doesn't have to be perfect it's really just to add a little bit more color So now I'm gonna do a little bit of a winged liner. This is optional. I've seen some people do a winged liner with this look and others don't. It just, I guess, depends on your preference. I'm gonna do a little wing just on the edge. And when I do my liner, I'm actually not gonna drag it all the way in here. I'm just gonna focus really on the wing portion and just a little bit on the outer portion of my lid. You could use eyeshadow as well. You could use black, brown, but I'm just gonna use the Profusion liquid liner and this one's in the shade Espresso. It almost looks black, but it's just like a really dark brown. just like that and then I'm gonna put on the lashes and that is it I feel like you really honestly don't even need a ton of liner in this area right here because then it just closes your eyes off
I'm gonna go in with mascara. This is the e.l.f. Big Mood, and this one I have in the shade Deep Brown. I love this formula. I love brown mascara. This also comes in a waterproof version, which is actually really nice. And for lashes, I'm going to use the Kiss Pompadour lashes. I love these so much. They're basically kind of like the Kiss Number 11s. These are a little bit darker, like they, the actual lash itself. But if you want that natural, wispy lash extension look, you will love these. They're not too long. They're not too short. They are perfection. I feel like the Demi Wispies from Ardell are also great lashes to complement this eye makeup and this makeup look as well. I'm also going to tight line my upper lash line and I'm going to use the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil and this one is also in the shade Espresso. It's just a really dark brown and I'm going to use this just to tight line the lash line. All right, lashes are on, love these lashes. These have been like my favorites for like everyday makeup or just like in general. So now let's do skin prep because that is like super important for today's look. I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. If you know, you know. I feel like honestly, this is like clean girl setting spray. Like this is gonna set your makeup. It's good for priming as well so you can like get a little extra hydration before you do your foundation and everything. But it also gives you the prettiest dewy glow. It's not too much, but it's just, it's just enough. Hmm, love. And I'm gonna go in with the Cookies and Dreams Primer. This is just the putty primer. It's basically just like the original, but this is just from their Cookies and Dreams collection. I love this primer and I just wanna be nice and smoothed out. So I'm gonna really concentrate this where I have larger pores. It's just so good and this new collection is actually now available at walmart in stores so if you guys want to pick it up it's super freaking cute and this is one of my favorite products from the collection it, this is like the putty primer but i feel like this one is even like a little bit creamier honestly so i'm gonna layer this up so we can be nice and smooth so today I'm going to be using a powdered foundation, but I'm going to start with my under eyes first because I want to just conceal these dark circles and get everything to look nice and bright. And my new favorite concealer is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. It's like medium buildable coverage, but it's so skin-like and there's like minimal creasing for me, which for me to say is a big deal because I have like the worst fine lines, but I feel like this looks so good, especially if you have a lot of fine lines like me, dry under eyes like me, you will love this concealer, like the formula the way that it wears, everything, it's beautiful. So I've been really obsessed with this lately. Like I just started using it, but like it's perfect. So I'm gonna do about that much and then I'm gonna blend this out with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. This like gives you coverage, but it's still super natural at the same time. And I'm gonna layer it up just because I really want the under eyes to look smooth and lifted. I just feel like I need the coverage. But what's nice is that even when you build it up, this doesn't get cakey. It's still like, it's just such a thin formula, but it still provides coverage. Like, it's so beautiful. Another really great concealer that I think is perfect to achieve that like fresh face look is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I still really like this. I feel like this has a little bit more coverage than the one from LYS, but the finishes and like the formula is a little bit different. So that's another really great affordable option. But you see how it just like conceals and brightens, but it's still like so natural or maybe it's just me. I don't know, but I think it is. Now I'm going to set and this is another new favorite and this is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent setting powder. Oh my goodness, you guys. This will make you so smooth. This is great for setting your makeup, but you can also use it under your eyes or to like touch up throughout the day. This also almost like, it looks like it's going to be really light, but like when you blend it in, it just like morphs into your skin. I don't know. I can't describe it, but just take my word for it. It's amazing. So I'm going to use the Sigma and Taylor Wynn smooth under eye brush. This combo right here, everything and this brush has been my go-to for my under eyes and i don't really use brushes to set my under eyes all that often like i normally just use a sponge but this brush is like magic like honestly look at that picks up just the right amount of product the shape everything about it i love 
Now it is time for foundation, and I'm gonna use a powdered foundation today. The one that I've been loving is the e.l.f. Camo Powdered Foundation. I finally got my perfect shade, and this one is Light 240W. Comes in 30 different shades, retails for $11, and it is so smooth, long-wearing, and beautiful. I can't get over it. And this is coming from somebody who doesn't really like powdered foundations. Like, I'm definitely a liquid foundation kind of gal, but lately, this is pretty much like all that I've been using whenever I do everyday makeup because it's so quick and easy, but it gives you the coverage and the wearability of something high-end like not even kidding does come with a little sponge i don't love it with the sponge i like it with the brush which i've mentioned before i just feel like it gives you like just that really smooth airbrush finish this is really lightweight though on the skin but it has buildable coverage and like a semi-matte natural finish and i love it with the elf complexion duo brush this combo right here is beautiful so i'm basically just gonna go in and just even out my skin tone and smooth everything out even more It is so smooth. It just like absorbs into the skin beautifully. And this is extremely smoothing and long wearing. Like the first time that I used it, I was shook. It also wears really nicely for me in areas where I struggle the most, which is usually around my mouth and my nose. With this, I never have issues with it coming off. Like it's, it's just that good. I like it too because it's quick. Like when you're doing your makeup, if you don't have a lot of time, but you want to look put together, like this is ideal. That is what it looks like, you guys. It is just so beautiful. Every time I wear this, I'm just like, yes, Elf did it again. So check this out. If you're looking for smooth, just like porcelain, great coverage, you will love this. Now let's do a little bronzer, blush, and highlight. So I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo. I love this bronzer. Like, if it's not this, it's usually the LYS bronzer, but I just, I love mixing the two and I love the formula of this bronzer. It's beautiful. So I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna like press it into the skin just to add some color and to give me that little bronzy cheek. So normally I feel like with this look, it's all about the creams, but I feel like since I use that powdered foundation, when I apply my powders over top, because that e.l.f. Camo powder foundation is so long wearing and smooth, I love the way powders go on over top and how long they wear even without using creams underneath. So I don't really feel like it's necessary whenever I use that foundation to go in with creams. So it, for me, it's like honestly even easier because it's less steps, but you still get that really like smooth, long wearing bronzer and blush. I'm gonna take a little bit of this color right here of the bronzer and I'm just gonna put some right down the sides of my nose, just a little bit. And then I'll just blend that out with the e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush. That's why I love this brush because it's like multi-purpose. Touching up the tails of my brows and I'm actually gonna set them. Another really great product that I think is nice for that fluffy brow look is the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel. I really like this to set my brows, but even for like this kind of look, if you wanna set and also achieve that fluffy brow look, I, I really like this product. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Espresso. I also like the shade Black to set my brows because it's a little bit darker. So it just depends what I'm in the mood for, but today I'm gonna use Espresso because I'm gonna keep the brows a little bit lighter. And I'm just gonna spoolie through them. Now for blush and highlighter, I'm gonna basically mix these two from the Natasha Denona palette. So the blush is kind of like a cream to powder finish, but it's more of like a cushiony type of product. So I'm gonna just take my beauty sponge and just mix in here. And then I'm just gonna press that and mixing it with the bronzer as well. It's just the prettiest shade. This palette also comes in a darker version as well. And I just, I honestly love it. Like I just, I love the concept of it. I love the formula of each of the products in here. It's worth it. I know it's expensive, but it's worth it. Especially if you know you're gonna use all of the shades. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of that highlighter with my sponge once again, because it's pretty intense. And I just wanna do a light glow over the blush. Sometimes I even like mix both of these together, like just back and forth. And it's pretty a little bit like right above the brow as well down the nose and then right on the cupid's bow just a little bit also using that same highlighter that i was using for the face i'm going to also pop that in the inner corners just to brighten that up i love this highlighter you could also use it as an eyeshadow on the lid and it's so pretty and then i'm just going to coat the lower lashes The 
the only other thing that is left are the lips and this is important because we got to keep the lips glossy but not like too much and i have this lip combo right here this right here it's dreamy so i'm going to use the la girl shockwave nude lip liner and this one i have in the shade coquette they have tons of these like different variations of nudes pinks browns great formula and i love this color because it's kind of like your lips but better And I'm just like blending it, Oop. kind of just blending it in with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with the Fawn Beauty Serum Gloss in the shade A Staple. These are really nice because they truly are a serum lip gloss. Like it's not as thick and heavy as like a regular lip gloss. And it's not as thick as like a lip oil, but it's very nourishing. It's hydrating like a lip oil, but it's just super lightweight and gives you the perfect amount of shine and pigment. And there's tons of different colors. This is just one of like many that they offer on their website so check them out and if you want to support a small business this is one of my all-time favorites they also smell heavenly so i'm just gonna do a light layer of this so of course we're gonna set the makeup like i said clean girl setting spray right here if you want your makeup to last and you want that dewy fresh face this right here All right, you guys, so that officially completes this clean girl. And you know what? Clean boy, because girls and boys, anybody could do this. But you guys get it. The clean, fresh makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. Love this look. Love the products. Of course, everything will be linked down below. Don't forget to check out the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation because it is ideal for this makeup look. And you guys are going to love it if you haven't tried it already. So thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.